everyone, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to create or add your own 2D footprint for a cabinet. If you decide to go the 2D way inside SolidWorks Electrical and create a 2D cabinet layout, what you can do is you can simply go to the process tab up here on the ribbon and left click on 2D cabinet layout. This will bring you back to the cabinet layout screen and as you can see on the left hand side, I've got my ducts and rails already um, added to the project. I've also added a cabinet over here and I can right click on that and say insert as cabinet and that will place my cabinet on the drawing. As you can see, it's quite a simplistic representation of the cabinet. And the reason why this is, is that if SolidWorks Electrical doesn't have a DWG or a cabinet to the footprint assigned to the manufacturer's data, it will just use a generic symbol with the sizes of um, the width and the height that are, in, um, that are specified in the manufacturer's data. So let's have a look. If I right click on here and go to its properties, I can see that there is no 2D footprint assigned to this part, um, but I can see the sizes here. Now, if we want to have a little bit more detail than just this part over here, what we can do is we can use um, certain programs or certain drawings that have already been provided by the manufacturer. Riddle has something called RECAD 3D. So you can see it over here, RICAD-3D, and it's version 3.1 in this case. So you can go to the manufacturer's data uh, website and just download the program from there. You can browse several different cabinets. I've already got my cabinet up uh, on here, so 1057500. We can export this directly into SolidWorks 3D if you're using the 3D environment. However, I'm going to use the 2D environment, so I'm going to create a 2D drawing. You can simply go to the 2D view and just select the view that I want. Now, in this case, I have the front view, which is exactly what I'm after, and I'm simply going to generate this view. Specify a directory. Desktop will do for now. And just hit OK. Now, once that is generated, inside SolidWorks Electrical, what we can do is we will go to my library tab up here, left click on 2D Footprints Manager. And what we're going to do here is we are going to go into the classification enclosures below. A below one meters and I'm gonna select instead of new this will allow me to draw the whole symbol from scratch I'm gonna import it from a DWG file so left click import DWG add files point this to the directory that you've saved simply click open hit next you can select the import configuration. In this case, it doesn't really matter which one we select because there are no, um, there is no parametric data assigned to it. You can see that it automatically gives it a name. If I right click on here and go to its properties, I can next specify all the other information that I need. So um, I can specify a description here. can specify a manufacturer and again as I always said I say um, it's good to add as much information as possible because it's very easy to filter out on this data and we can immediately associate that to a manufacturer's part as well so again I know the um, manufacturer's uh, reference number which was 1057500 and what this will do is it will associate the manufacturer's part to this symbol over here. So the next time I right click and insert the symbol, I can then automatically it will insert this drawing or this 2D footprint. Okay, so I'm simply going to click on OK. Next. No attributes there, so nothing is showing. Hit next as well. I am not going to save this import configuration and simply hit finish. 
Now you can look over here inside your classification and look for the part that you've created. I like always to use the filters um, and let's have a look on manufacturer riddle. There is my cabinet. I can double click this and now it allows me to actually add it and remove all information that I don't need. Now, most people do two things. They either delete the whole backplate so they got rid of all these pink and purple wires and we are only left with the outside of the enclosure. Other customers that I've seen actually convert the back wall and put it next to the cabinet over here. And they will then design the rails and ducts on the back plate and have the 2D front view of the cabinet just sitting here on the left hand side. Now I'm not going to go into that much detail in this video um, as modifying and deleting wires and lines in here is quite straightforward. You can just select them, delete. Once you're finished, you can simply just close this off. It will ask, SolidWorks Electrical will ask you to save the file. You simply hit yes. So if I go back to my 2D part over here, it will automatically insert the correct cabinet. If it doesn't insert the correct cabinet, we can actually go to its properties over here. And we can simply select the symbol that we want. Browse to the enclosures. Now I'm going to use the filters again. Filter on the manufacturer. Simply select your cabinet and insert that on your drawing. Now, obviously, I haven't cleaned up the symbol yet. That's why we see all the lines. But if you have cleaned up your symbol, it will now come up with the correct cabinet. Thank you for watching, guys.